Amitabh Kant has reacted to Jairam Ramesh taunt on Prime Minister Modi. Kant has hit out at uh, Jairam Ramesh, mocking the Prime Minister's event manager and called his words a bizarre statement. We'll try and get you more details on that entire story, but reactions have been pouring in. Uh, including the parties like TMC and the JDU, they have maintained a very nuanced position that when it comes to matters of foreign policy and national security, they stand with the government. And more importantly, even on earlier occasions, whenever the government has, uh, India has taken over the presidency at any global platform, that has been a matter of great national pride, including this one. The Congress party has uh, chosen to take a very sharp position. They have uh, said, quoting Lal Krishna Advani, that Prime Minister is an event manager and he tries to make an event out of everything, a statement that has not been welcomed in the public domain and once again is receiving flack. Let's listen in to what Amitabh Khan said. It's a bizarre statement because uh, there is a lot of content, there is a lot of homework done, uh, there is a huge amount of uh, uh, issues, what we call the priorities which are discussed. All through the year it's about discussing on priorities. It's about discussing on shaping the future of the world. So the Congress party finds itself in a lone position when it comes to that particular line that they have taken. Especially in the political discourse, the rules have been reset. You can't afford to take a line like that. And often, as uh, we've, I've been speaking to my colleagues uh, and various people, they say that this is clearly a position which is not defensible. And maybe one of the issues in a list of long issues that the Congress party has defended itself on. Maria Shakil with us on the broadcast. Maria, the statement coming in from Amitabh Kant and even the parties like JDU and TMC have taken a very nuanced position that when it comes to matters of foreign policy, national security, we are with the government and we don't want to comment on this. Yes, I think uh, what Mr. Kant says becomes important because he is the G20 Sherpa. Mm. He's saying that this entire statement that is coming of uh, that it would have been rotational, India would have anyways got it and that if anything it will be an event management, the Prime Minister is an event manager, all that's, that is a bizarre statement. I did ask him another question specifically huh. to, the, uh, to the controversy that has been there around the G20 logo. Um, uh, he said that, you know, um, this is an example of cooperative federalism, that if anything, uh, this G20 event and 400 odd events would be held across the country, um, across all the capital cities of various states this is an example of cooperative federalism that first set of events will be in fact held in Udaipur which is uh, in Rajasthan a Congress rule state there are a number of events that have been planned for Kerala so if anything this is India's moment. If the entire world will be looking at what India is doing in terms of setting the agenda. The Prime Minister has specifically said that this is, uh, you know, uh, he has used a very interesting term and I'm going to quote that hmm. for our hmm. viewers hmm. because, uh, you know, he wrote a, a, an elaborate piece yesterday. He said that this will be a paradigm shift and which will lead to human-centric globalization. For the Prime Minister to say that his vision is philosophically best communicated through a phrase which is called human-centric globalization, there are several conversations will be, which will be happening around uh, startups, India's success particularly of to do with digital economy and the digital transformations which is evident across the uh, country, mm -hmm. Anusha, and I've traveled uh, Himachal to Gujarat and several other states, you can see that digital transaction actually take place at that scale. So that conversations which will happen in India over a period of a year is something that the world will be watching out for. And Mr. Kant, who is the Sherpa of G20, he says that if anything, the G20 events and the manner in which it has been planned signify cooperative federalism where each and every state is involved. There is a lot of excitement of yeah. India to showcase its um, culture, its history and its success in terms of its achievements on the economic front. Maria Shakil continues to stay with us on the broadcast. Maria, please stay. We'll uh, get more perspective from you. I once again want to play out that reaction coming in from Amitabh Kant. It's a bizarre statement because uh, there is a lot of content there is a lot of homework done. Uh, there is a huge amount of uh, uh, issues, what we call the priorities, which are discussed. All through the year, it's about discussing on priorities. It's about discussing on shaping 
the future of the world. Maria Shakil, our political editor, continues to stay with us on the broadcast. Maria, a lot of things have been reset in the grammar of political narrative in this country. You can't get away now by making statements like these. And regional parties like TMC and JDU are very cognizant of it, not the Congress party. Yes, you, because they realize uh, that they have had elections, they have faced elections mm -hmm. with the BJP. I mean, TMC managed to defeat the BJP in the state of Bengal. Yeah. So they understand which are the issues that they can tread on, which are the issues which are best avoidable. Mm -hmm. Nationalism is a pitch which is advantage BJP. But moving away from the politics, um, Anusha, this is India's movement. Mm -hmm. The entire world is looking at India. What India achieves diplomatically and domestically through these one year of G20 summit becomes important because the narrative that India will be setting forward will be carrying forward in other, with other G20 countries. Mm. So the entire world is looking at us. Mm. The entire, you know, the, 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 the big, uh, you know, the corporates are looking at India. They are realizing what India can uh, do mm. and what India has achieved vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the business achievements. So that is the reason why there has been a great degree of caution when it comes to comments that have come from various political parties because why would you want to paint your country in a negative way why why should there be a discussion around g20 logo or or or, or say that there will be event uh, manager that the bjp will milk it uh, because the entire event will be happening all of next year and 2024 will be the election year of the lok sabha mm -hmm. having said mm -hmm. that i think the point that is being made here right now by uh, mr amitabh kant who is the sherpa of uh, g20 is that this is an example of cooperative federalism. Um, various political parties uh, will be who have governments in various states of India, be it uh, the left government in the state of uh, Kerala. Yeah or the Congress government in the state of Rajasthan are all participating in it. There are multiple levels of engagements that are happening and politicians should be mindful when they make these statements. Politicians should be mindful. As I said, the grammar of political